I think Series 1 was an experiment. We were trying stuff out. Some of it worked, some of it didn't. Series 2, we were a bit more sure of ourselves. The characters were growing, growing into themselves a little bit. This series, I could be wrong, but I think we might have four real crackers and two ones that are just very good, you know? And that feels... That's pretty strong, because I think this might be the series where people start sitting up and paying attention to it. And, and it's great, it's great that to do that, to have a good series for when people are starting to pay attention. Be the only one who, who has got the whole script in my head like a kind of, like a kind of tune, you know? And um, I know that, you know, if something is like, I, kn I know when the tune is off slightly, and I'm the only one who, who, knows, who knows that. And, and so I'm, I might, get them to do it again and again until it, it, it sounds right. In the script, it's pointed it out, ever since someone pointed it out. But I think mentioned yeah. it's fine. <laughs> Sometimes other people can't really tell, um, you know, what that tune is. And, and, and that's basically why I'm so hands-on, you know? Because it's very hard to, 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 for other people to come along and know exactly how a thing should be filmed. The lonely director. It's why I, I started directing myself was just because I, I had so many bad experiences with handing over a script and then watching it on TV and thinking, wow, they didn't, they didn't understand the first thing about how to do this. Perfect. Thank you very much. What a great time. We have a studio director who's also our producer, Richard Bowden, and he, um, he is uh, navigating from the gallery while I'm downstairs on the floor. Um, having a look at it too and, and speaking to the actors and giving them performance notes and, and, and just making sure that everything is okay from my point of view. Thank you very much, we are recording. Stand by, here we go then. In three, two, one, action. For day, I, I, I tend to, if, if, if I can see something's going the wrong way, I'll, I'll shout cut, but generally I try and not get in Richard's way and let him take care of all that. But we're fairly, you know, Richard's great because he doesn't mind my voice in his ear, in his ear, asking him questions, you know, raising worries and, and stuff like that. I usually normally have only about one or two things that I need done differently. <laughs> nice. nice. Good. That's good. Um, this is Chris intruding on Chris's mind later on. So could you go? Shh. <coughs> really, just forget the idea that it's the yeah. real thing. It's just purely sexual. Sure. <laughs> There's a thing called a well-lit cup, which is uh, which is the 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 you know uh, the, the the idea behind that is is, is the director who spends hours uh, getting the right shot of a cup, you know, getting making sure the light shines on it in the right way and all this sort of thing, turning it and you know, and then you find out you've no time to shoot the you know helicopter action sequence at the end of the day. That's kind of what it's like. I tend to I tend to spend a lot of time on the first scene, making sure the comedy's right. And then I never have time for anything else. So I, I gotta keep reminding myself that sometimes, you know, sometimes even though you don't get hundred percent right, you've got to you gotta keep going and, and you know, put it down to it's just one of those things, you know. And that was my favourite take. Much. That was a great take. I, like I don't think I've ever made it to series four of anything because I, I tend to either I tend to either bail <laughs> or 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 you know, my my thing is is I don't want um people to get bored of the show and and stop watching before you know, I, I, I Father Ted we hit the ground running on Father Ted. The first series was pretty was pretty good. You know, and uh, and so by three series, we'd really done everything we, we, we'd set out to do. I didn't really hit the ground running on the IT crowd. It took me one or two series to kind of find my feet. Um, uh, and and I think that I can keep going for a while until we get one or two more good series under my belt. So I, I don't think this will be the last series. I think I think we're going to... Um, there's going to be another one behind this. I've already, I, already, I wrote one idea down the other day, and it made me... It made me laugh out loud, you know, so, you know, if, if the characters are making you laugh out loud still, then you've got to keep going. I don't think I've ever looked in this drawer. <laughs> wow, a gun! The show is, is about geeks, but it's not necessarily for geeks. It's, um, it's, it's a celebration of geekdom, but, it, but to, to, to be truly effective, everyone has to watch it, you know? And uh, so that's why all the kind of geekdom is on the walls. It's not in the script, you know? So 
I just like to, I hope it's all accurate. I think it may not be. There's little things that are off. There's things I'm sure people are going, that wouldn't be in there, or that's not, or that's wrong, and stuff like that. And, and, but I can't really spend all my time trying to get absolutely everything right on, on the set. But, you know, every, every series, we're going to keep adjusting and, and make it so that, you know, on the last series, we'll have, we'll have an office that really, really works. <laughs> But I have to say, I'm very happy with it this time because it's got that 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 comic shop messy jumbly feeling that I that I was really looking for, and you know I think we're close. The better the set looks, the better the show's getting as well. <laughs> <laughs>